สวัสดีครับ I'm Chef k a s i m I'm so proud to show you guys today how to make a basil bomb that we serve at Farmhouse Kitchen. It is so simple as a prat ka p a u t a l e In my version, it's more spicy, more fun to cook at home, and easy step. Just follow me. All right, let's do it. So first thing first. We have to make a pad ka pao spices that we use, just similar to like you know sachet. So uh, in my recipe, I have like you know the Thai chili, the galang gao. Galang gao is similar to ginger root, but you know just want to make sure you guys know uh, when you go shopping. Also, I have minced garlics, and this is special thing. It's called g a c h a i g a c h a i is more like you know the a type of ginger root, bring more heat up to the notes and tanginess. Inside your tongue. So, I will smash everything together as a paste before we stir fry. All right, let's come closer. So I got a Thai mole here. Um, if you don't have it, you can use like the blender at home. Uh, I'm gonna start putting the Thai chili in. If you don't like spicy, just pick another type of chili. But you know, again, Thai food it's meant to be spice. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put about like um, 10 pieces of the Thai chili. Smash it first because it's gonna take some time. And of course, you know, um, blender will be more like you know uh, easy to find. But if not, um, you know, it's fine. And um, you know, grow up as a Thai person is really easy dish that you can order from like all Thai vendors or making at home because this more like you know. Um, instant noodles in Thai version. So I'm gonna smash it until like it tears up uh, about like 60%. If you love more like spicy, go ahead. You know, this is how it look. After keep smashing it. So next thing I'm gonna put galang gao. Galang gao is um, you know the spice that will bring you another level heat up on your notes. Next thing we're gonna cook the jasmine rice. I use the certified jasmine rice, uh, considered as a long grain rice to cook. My simple recipe is one cup of rice, one and a half cup of water or liquid, or sometimes I use chicken stock, vegetable stock, you name it. Another trick that I've been taught a uh, long time is using your fingers uh, to measuring the rice. You know, um, it's really simple. My my grandparents always tell me like. About almost like an inch of your fingertips, so it is about rice. So let's start cooking. First, I'm gonna bring up to boil, and then I'm gonna low down the heat to really low heat. After I put the rice and then liquid, I'm gonna let it off and then wait until it's bubbling. You can hear it or you can see the smoke come up. That is the time to low down the heat because. Um, The rice will take about like uh, 16 to 18 minutes to cook. The perfectly rice, soft, moist inside, and then you know bring a little aromatic up to your notes. That is how. This is the sign. When you see like a big bubble come up on the pot, it is time for us to load out the heat to really, really low and keep the wash up to 16 minutes. So I'm gonna start lowering it, and here we go. Making a uh, prick n a m p a is super easy and simple. Use as a Thai condiment. You can find anywhere at Thai restaurant or make at home. Uh, the main ingredient is chili and fish sauce, and sometimes we put the lime juice to make it more balanced. So I'm gonna start putting chili here, and then squeeze off the lime. First thing, we're gonna make the fried eggs. So I'm gonna use the medium pan, bring up to um, medium. And I'm gonna start putting the cooking oil. I normally use vegetable oil. Um, the reason is because it hold the high heat temperature. Uh, my suggestion: do not use the butter because butter will burn uh, burn the eggs and then uh, brown your eggs. It doesn't look present. Oh my goodness! Look, I got the double eggs here. If you guys, you know, uh, cook at home, I would suggest. Crack the eggs, put in the small bowl, and then gently slide into the pan. Uh, it's either way, it will work. 
And um, you know, good news, I believe the rice is cooked. The rice is cooked perfectly. Look at that, the front of the rice. I'm gonna use the fork, the tip of the fork, scrub, uh, scrub it and check if the rice cooked evenly. So I think my fried egg is done. I'm gonna put my fried egg on the side, gently transfer to another side. Wow, a lucky day, I got twin. So up to this point, it will create a lot of smoke. So if you guys have like the alarm detector or open the window at home, please do. I'm gonna preheat my pans a little bit and then I'm gonna put the cooking oil. First, I'm going to uh, pre-cook my shrimp because we can make a lot of um, you know, seafood here that feed up to four people. So I don't want to overcook my shrimp, so that's why I put my shrimp first before I stir fry anything else. Okay, so I got my shrimp pre-cooked ready. I'm gonna put on the side. Same pan, I'm going to add cooking oil and then out spices. Up to this point, hold your breath. I'm going to start putting calamari, the scallop. Some people like love to see a scallop first, it's fine, same thing with the shrimp. Um, so I just want to cook those together to keep the juice inside. And then when it's uh, cooking a little bit, then I add the shrimp. And then it will balance between cooking. Look at the shrimp, it's still smoking, means it's cooking inside. Once we put everything in with the sauce, stir fry a little bit, phenomenal taste. I'm gonna keep it uh, stir a little bit. As you can see, you know, like calamari, that's cooked well, um, it's released out the juice. That is how we keep the seafood taste. So I don't want to wash it or steam it or even like, you know, um, boil it before we cook. During this time, I'm going to start adding the oyster sauce. And then also I'm going to add the black soy sauce. The black soy sauce works as a sweetness, thickness, and then the smokiness from the soy. And um, uh, my personally love to put fish sauce, but not right now. It will be the last one that I will put because I don't want to burn out the saltiness and um, give out, out uh, food become like too salty. Um, during this time, I'm going to start adding the shrimp. Keep it stir a little bit to mix the sauce together. <laughs> oh my God, I wish you guys here. The smell, the aromatic is so nice. Uh, the spice that go along with the seafood. And um, of course, I'm using uh, another ingredients that make it more fun, which is the crispy pork belly. Stir fry a little bit. Woohoo, look at that color. And whenever you go to Thailand, there's the dish, you know, well, with fried egg on top or even like Thai omelets on top. Woo, phenomenal. Next, I'm gonna add bell pepper. The red bell pepper gives us a sexy color to our dish and the Thai basil, of course, the, uh, the pad ka pao is basically is Thai basil stir fry stuff. Um, if you can find like the holy basil, it even better because you know the taste is more like spicier, sharper on the basil taste. I'm gonna give it a sweat a little bit, stir a little bit. Looks so good, guys. Next, I'm gonna start plating. So first, look at our rice. After 18 minutes cooking, um, this is the rice we got. So good. I'm gonna put the rice in the middle. Put out pat karpao. 
Look at that. <laughs> this dish could feed like the entire of the, the whole house. Put the fried eggs around. And next, I'm gonna do like a little bit of decorations. I use like a slice of carrots to give it such a nice color. And uh, of course, the fried basil that I can play around with, um, you know, the dish to make it more pop. The, the chili, uh, similar to chili jams with the fish sauce and lime juice sprinkle on top. And, um, you know, some uh, fish sauce that go along with the fried eggs. Mmm. Wow, this is phenomenal. I wish you guys had the same test. Practice and have fun. All right.